Yeah. I don't, I don't care what you tell me. It's insane. Yeah, I don't. Well, like, I, I I don't get it. I can't. I can't do it. And especially since we, you know, since Fast Pass came out, you know, whatever, fifteen, fifteen years ago or whatever. Um, it's like I can't. I can't wait in line that long. It's like half hour max. It's like if it's not, if it's longer than half an hour, I just say hell with it and do something else. It's not. Yeah, it's not worth my time. We were. We were just sort of the way the system we had going in Universal was. We we're like, right, there's really one big ride in every area, so all we do is shuffle up and get our time slot to come yeah. back and then shuffle around the rest of that area and see what's what, you know. We'll go mm. and get the time for Transformers and then while we're doing that, we can go and scoot around the corner and see the Blues Brothers play, get some food, you know, mooch in the merch shops and stuff and then shuffle back and do that ride and then go on to the next yeah. area and do the same thing again. And it's much less stressful that way right and that meant i got to eat a turkey leg in the simpsons area so i was quite happy it, there you go yeah i will say um if you come back again try to make a point to do the star wars land i know i'm not like i'm not like a huge star wars person and it's a it's a neat area like it's I, it's kind of like it's on par i think in terms of styling with uh the harry potter world in you know universal in terms of just feeling like you're you're immersed in it but the thing that i loved about that of of all that is i the, like i said earlier the rise of rise of the resistance ride um because i've never felt more immersed in a world than i have on that ride and not just on the ride in the line for the ride because you know how I, every ride has like the themes and you kind of go through the thing and then do the video and you kind of feel like you got the props and stuff and you kind of, kind of try to make it feel like you're you're in that world but you know you I mean you're obviously in a line that line the way they set up or i guess queue for you but um the way they set that up is it it feels like going through the line is like half the ride because you go through and uh, i'm trying to remember all of it now but you're going through and you get the little video thing from uh what's her name what's the girl's name um for the new trilogy um ray ray yeah so she's there talking to you about stuff and then you end up going on this little um it, i think it's it's actually just an elevator but it looks like uh like a transport ship you get in they got the whole inside is all screens and and then, you know, it kind of bumps around, so it feels like you're moving. And you got screens. They got like a, you know, like the little fake pilot guy flying the ship. It looks like you're flying, you're 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 taking off from where you were, and you're flying up into space, and you end up getting pulled into a, um, um, what do you call those? Uh, I want to say Battle Star, but that's Star <laughs> wrong, Destroyer. Wrong. Uh, Star Destroyer, yeah. You get pulled into one of those, and and all you, all it's really doing is pulling you, like taking you an elevator down underground. Um, I think it's what it does, but it feels like you're flying around and you end up going in, you get pulled into the docking bay and you see on the screens, it looks like you are in there and you can see all the stormtroopers lined up and all this stuff. And then the doors open, you walk out and the, um, the actual area that they bring you to is identical to that. So it feels like you've literally just flown into space. You've gone onto the star destroyer. You, you've got all the, uh, um, you got all the stormtroopers there. You walk, and this is all the line. This isn't even the ride. I'm just, I'm just the line. You go in there. They, they, uh, all the, um, the, the Disney cast members are all, you know, dressed up as uh, imperial guards or whatever, and they're shuttling you off because you're a prisoner now, and they're shuttling you off to, uh, you know, wherever they're gonna take you to process you. Which is, again, this is all, this is all just the line. They take you over there. You end up waiting there. You go see, um, um. Kylo Ren, he's sitting up there talking to you, and I think someone else is talking to you. It's not, it's just a you know like a animatronics thing, but it's sitting up there talking to you, and then, and then they, um, the one door that opens, it makes it look like it they cut through with a lightsaber. And the door opens, and they pull you through, and they say, "Come on, we gotta go, we gotta go," and they rush you over, and that's when you get on the ride. Like that, all I just described is not is just the line for this ride. It is, it isn't incredible what they what they did with that and the ride's cool too i mean don't get me wrong the ride's, ride's a neat ride but um the, yeah just, like they just, just they went it. above and beyond but that sounds cool like that that does sound better it, than it the is. usual it's an experience yeah it's an experience like the the get in the snake and snake up and down thing is you know 
not the same. Yeah. Yeah, like, like, if you go, like, I'm sure there's a POV uh, on YouTube of it. If you go go check it out, make, you know, make sure you do one that has the whole line. And you go, like, man, this is just, it's it's just so well put together for you know, what is effectively. And it, and it feel it makes it feel like it doesn't take that long either. Because your line, that line could take 30, 45 minutes. And it wouldn't feel like that just because you're basically going through this whole plot uh, of, of going through and getting captured and all that. I would have been your podcast only on Patreon.